Hi, my name is Pat, and this is my channel, Book Chat with Pat, and I'm glad that you're here. Today I'm going to be talking about my participation in the Big Book Summer Challenge 2024. This is a challenge that was created by and is being hosted by Sue Jackson, and I'll leave her information in the notes. Uh, the challenge runs from Memorial Day, which was May 24th, through Labor Day, which is September 2nd. And all you have to do to participate in the Big Book Summer Challenge is to read one book of 400 pages or more. Of course, you can read as many big books as you want, but all you have to do to qualify for participating is read one book that is at least 400 pages long. So I thought that I would talk about what I've read since Memorial Day and what I am planning to be reading during the course of the summer, uh, which would qualify for the Big Book Summer Challenge. So the first book that I completed since Memorial Day is Zadie Smith's The Fraud. And this is a book that I'm reading for my book group, my in-person real life book group, which is meeting actually on Tuesday to, to discuss this. So this already qualifies for the big book challenge uh, because it has 454, uh, 454 pages. So that's one, one down. I've already qualified. <laughs> I am also in the middle of reading James Joyce's Ulysses. I'm reading this uh, with Alan at Big Hard Books and Class Classics and Greg at Another Bibliophile Reads. Uh, this is a James Joyce read-along and we're reading uh, Ulysses from uh, throughout June and July. So um, we're already a week into this and this is a book that has 657 pages, so this definitely will count as well. Additionally, I am in the middle of reading for my participation in Pride Month, uh, a biography by Hilary Holiday of uh, uh, the poet Adrian Rich, and this is called The Power of Adrian Rich. And I'm in the middle of this now, uh, which I, I will definitely complete this during the course of the summer. This is a book that has 478 pages. Um, and that, it's got a lot of notes and stuff at, at the back of it. But um, if I go just the, the text of the book, not including the, the notes, it's 410 pages. So this also qualifies. Next, um, I've talked in several uh, videos now about a trip that I am planning to Ireland in the fall. And I've been reading a lot of Irish literature um, in, in the past few months, and I'm going to continue my reading of Irish literature uh, through the summer. Um, one book that I am uh, planning to read is uh, William Trevor's Selected Stories, which I have on my Kindle. And I forget what the page total is, but it's, it's a lot. There's, there's a, whole, a whole bunch of, of his, his stories in here. Um, I was talking about the, um, the Ireland trip and, and the reading I've been doing, and, and William Trevor comes um, highly recommended by uh, Libro Paradiso. Uh, so this is, and I told him that I would be adding some William Trevor to my summer reading. So that's, that's one. Um, I have been reading uh, for some time now the works of the Irish author Nula O'Fuelan, and this is her novel. I've been reading her memoirs and her journalism, but this is a novel that she wrote, uh, Best Love, Rosie. And I plan to complete this in um, during the course of, of the summer. Uh, this novel was published to mark the first anniversary of, uh, of Fuelan's death. Um, <clears throat> and this has 446 pages in it. So that will also count. Um, 
in my Irish reading, I'm also, uh, I would like to read Maeve Binchy's Circle of Friends. I showed this in a, uh, a recent video of my, the, the roadmap of my life. Um, I'm going on this trip to uh, Ireland with two of my oldest and dearest friends, and this seemed like an appropriate book uh, in anticipation of our, of our journey. Um, I have a bunch of possibilities, and I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I, I hope that I will get through all of these. Uh, most of these now are books that have come to me uh, highly recommended by um, other friends and uh, booktubers. Um, one book that has been recommended to me by both um, Darko at Kindles and Kicks, and also by D at uh, Through the Pages with D is Simon Jimenez's The Spear Cuts Through Water. And I heard both of them review this and talk about this extensively, and it sounded like something that I, uh, I, I would like to read as well. And this novel has... 522 pages. Well, that's including acknowledgments. The novel itself, 518 pages. So this will count as well. Uh, another book that has been recommended to me by a couple of subscribers, and, and also it was highly recommended by uh, Jonathan Cohn, who has um, a, a channel largely devoted to um, science fiction and fantasy, though he reads a lot of other things too that he also reviews, um, but he highly recommended this. This is Mary Robinette Cole's The Calculating Stars. This was in my quest to read some uh, contemporary science fiction that was written by women. Um, so this one came highly recommended, and this one has 400, <clears throat> not including acknowledgments, <clears throat> 421 pages. So that would also qualify. <laughs> I had talked about this novel in my intimidating TBR uh, tag, and um, I talked about how I've had this book for a long time, and it's been recommended to me by a bunch of people, and I haven't read it yet because I have, I have reservations about uh, some of Stephen King novels. I've been kind of hit or miss with with him. Uh, I, I love The Green Mile, but I I, I did not love um, Carrie uh, or Holly, uh, but this came highly recommended by somebody in my in my family, and also by um, Cliff at Cliff's Dark Gems, and by the Faceless Book Reviewer, uh, and so I said I will promise to uh, that that to make it a, a maybe, to make it a possibility, and that's Stephen King's The Stand, and this more than qualifies at something like. Uh, 1,153 pages. So I'm not promising, <laughs> not promising, but this is, this is on my, uh, my, my list of, of possibilities for, for the summer. Um, I highly respect uh, the family member and, and, uh, and, and Cliff, and, and also um, faceless book reviewer. Uh, so um, this, is a, this is a definite maybe. Okay. Um, and then another book that I very much plan to read this summer, and this was, um, this was a gift, and I just haven't gotten to it yet. Uh, this is Abraham Verghese's The Covenant of Water. And I, I know a lot about this book, and I, I, I think this is one, uh, this is one that I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to love. Uh, this one weighs in at <laughs> 
700. Well, these are some notes at the end. Um, well, it's in the 700s. Um, the novel, I think, is 715 pages, and then there are acknowledgments at the end. So the whole thing goes to 724 pages. So definitely, definitely counts. Covenant of, of Water. Um, I am also going to be participating in um, Rocket Summer, and I have not yet picked out my books for, uh, for that, and that's taking place in July. Uh, and that, that's a science fiction challenge. Um, <clears throat> I don't know yet what I'm going to be reading, and um, so I, I can't really say if they're going to be 400 pages or, or more or not. Um, and I'm also participating in Jane Austen July, and it is very possible that uh, at least one book that I read for, for that will have 400 pages, but I'll have to add that to a future video because I haven't, uh, haven't made my selections for Jane Austen July yet. Um, I'm also continuing to read uh, Star Trek books for Book Trek 2024, which goes all the way through the summer, June, July, and August. Uh, but so far, all of the books that I'm looking at for, for, the, for Book Trek are not 400 pages or more. They tend to be uh, slimmer volumes. I have lots of them, but I don't think I have anything that, that's 400 pages or more. So. This seems ambitious. Uh, I don't know if, if all of these are, are things that I'm going to, to complete, but I have completed one already, and I'm well into the second and the third, so I'm, I'm definitely on my way to, <laughs> to full participation in the Big Book Summer Challenge created and hosted by the lovely Sue Jackson. So that's it for, for, this, uh, for this video. As always, I thank you for watching. I hope that you're doing well. I'll speak with you again soon. Take care.